Hi there, Psycho Enthusiasts, and welcome to the next episode of Friday Psycho Best Practices. My name is Vasily Fomachev, and I'm a Psycho Technology MVP. And this week, I'm on the road. I'm in Sausalito, California, heading to US Psycho headquarters for some commerce server training. It's the first uh, training class on the, on the Psycho commerce server, so expect some blog posts coming from me on that topic. Now in this episode, I'd like to continue staying on track of uh, increasing the usability of Psycho content editing tools and add data definition field sources to our arsenal. So what are these? Well, Psycho allows us, uh, gives us a way to specify the default location for items that can be selected by complex field types like images or links, and uh, also uh, specify some filters for complex field types like multi-select fields, uh, tree list, tree list extended, multi-list with search, and so on, allowing, allowing us to specify what types of items are allowed to appear in the selection pool and what items are allowed to be selected. So why is this a best practice? Well, there are several benefits to using the source field. First, it allows us to, again, validate the type of data that can be selected. So we can specify the templates, we can uh, choose items uh, by their name ID, by even the database, and uh, only allow certain items to be selected by multi-list fields. So which prevents users from accidentally selecting a wrong item. For instance, if uh, a user were to point the tree list uh, extended field type to a folder with image slides, they could accidentally double click on the folder or drag the folder over to the right side, so in other words, select the folder instead of a slide and maybe perhaps break the website. So specifying the filtering options on the, uh, on the source field allows us to avoid these types of issues. Now the second benefit is it allows us to keep our media library organized. Now when we point users directly to the folder where media items are supposed to be stored, there's no guesswork where those items are, uh, where those images or files, documents need to be uploaded. When the user clicks that browse button, they're ta uh, taken directly to the right folder. And benefit number two, again, is increasing greatly increasing the usability and the experience of using Sitecore. So instead of uh, clicking the browse button and either searching for an image or navigating through a complex media library tree, uh, users are taken directly to the folder where they can either select an, a different image or upload a new image uh, if they want to. So let's take a look at how we can set that up. Uh, so what I have here uh, is a an empty Psycho instance. We'll go ahead and go into the content editor. And what I'll do is I'll show you how to set a source for an image field. What I'll do is I'll create a test template. Hit next, next, accept the defaults. We'll go ahead and add a test section and a simple image field, um, simple image field of complex type of image. Go ahead and select image here, and we'll leave the source empty for now. Let's go ahead and go to our home item, and let's insert an instance of our new template. We'll just accept the new test default name. And let's scroll down to the image field. And let's hit the browse button. Now notice how we're taking directly to the root of the media library right here. And the search is searching using the, the media library root node as the context node for searching. So it'll search all the assets under the media library. So if this is a small media library, we're fine. Now imagine if uh, you're dealing with an enterprise website where you have millions of assets. This might take some time to populate. To start, well, And that's only to start with. Now, how do we know where we should be uploading our image? Even if we switch to the tree list, uh, to, the, to the media library content view, folder structure view, we still have no idea where we're supposed to upload our new image files. Now let's take a look at how we can fix that. So if we navigate back to the test folder, and since this is an empty site for instance, uh, I don't have a deep folder structure, so what I'll do is I'll just point it directly to uh, the default images folder in Sitecore. And the source with that would be Sitecore 
media library images. As you've already guessed, we're just using simple psychopath to specify the data source. And let's go back to our new test item and take a look at what's changed. So if we hit the browse button now, first notice how the search is now using images folder as the root for searching. So it'll only search items under, under the images folder. And if we go ahead and switch to the folder view, notice how we're taken directly to the images folder. Now there's absolutely no guesswork left where we're supposed to be uploading our images. And that also again allows us to keep the media library organized by uh, prohibiting editors uh, from uploading images into other folders or creating folders in locations they shouldn't be. So there we go. So hopefully you, you see the benefits of using the source field. Now there are plenty of blog articles and, and videos on different options and different uh, syntaxes and filters that you can use in the source field. You can use things like psycho queries and, and fast queries. You can use simple data sources. Um, you can even use uh, uh, very complex filtering options for fields like tree list or tree list extended. So go ahead and uh, Google that. Uh, research that and hopefully use that in your future psycho projects and if you like the video make sure to like it comment below subscribe to my youtube channel uh, for more tips like this check out cmsbestpractices.com and again my name is Vasily Falmichev and I'm a psychor technology MVP and I will see you next Friday over and out